James is with us in San Diego. Hi, James. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hey, guys. How are you guys doing? Great. How can we help? Uh, thank you for taking the call. Yeah, I'm uh, relatively new to uh, to the family. I uh, started binge-watching all of your shows since COVID happened. Um, so I'm trying to identify kind of where I would stand in everything. Um, we have a baby coming in uh, in March. Yay! Uh, we've yeah. <laughs> welcome, to married, the um, welcome to the family, by the way. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we got married January last year, and uh, recently, in the middle of COVID, moved from New York City to California, um, started a new job as a children's pastor here. Mm. Um, and pretty much, I'm just trying to identify what priorities should be. Uh, obviously, I know we need to save for the baby. Mm -hmm. um, we're on baby step one currently, mm -hmm. so actually baby step two, because mm -hmm. we have a 1,000. But mm -hmm. we do have um, a loan, a car loan. We bought a second, um, second-hand car when we got here, mm -hmm. um, so it wasn't new. But it was definitely. I still took out an eighteen thousand dollar loan for it. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess I'm just trying to figure out. Okay, what priority should I be focusing on between now and I guess next gotcha. year, really? Gotcha. Yeah, and the baby. Well, our rule yeah. of thumb, James, is the fact that you guys are expecting a baby things shift a yep. little bit here so we usually always say your gazelle intent you're paying off your debt that's where you guys would be but because the baby is coming we're actually going to pause yep. baby step two and just pile up money because you guys okay. just have that thousand dollar in savings and so just anything you'd be paying at the at the debt you want to stay current on all of your debt but yep. not paying extra on it and pile up some savings and then once baby comes and mom and baby are safe and good to go then you can apply all of that money besides the thousand dollars on to your debt. So how much debt do you guys have? You have the eighteen thousand dollar car just, loan. Just the eighteen, yeah. Oh, that's we, it, uh, okay. Yeah, we do have a little bit on some cards from this month, but it will be paid off um tomorrow when I get paid. Okay. okay. So we're gonna tell you and that then, um, t t tonight sorry. tonight we're gonna teach you to have a thing called plastic surgery <laughs> where you chop up the cards and get on a debit card system where you quit okay. you quit spending money you don't have. And yeah. jump on to uh every dollar or jump into Ramsey plus and start the free trial and okay. get the every dollar budgeting app. And it'll help you put together your budget where you can make your money behave monthly that way. Mm. And so what is your household income right now? Uh, we're on 70,000. Okay. So if you were to just guess, cause you haven't done your budget, I can tell, which is fine. You're just, you're just joining the family. But, yeah. uh, um, if you were to guess how much money a month, can you pile up if you don't pay any extra on debt and your only goal was to build your savings? Um, well, actually, I've done a brief budget. I think at currently we have about $1,000 excess a, mm -hmm. a, a month mm -hmm. um, from every, yep, yeah, paying off all of the bills, the necessary bills, and then the, mm -hmm. the loan. And when's the baby come, James? March. In March. March, okay. Yeah. And, and then so I had one more thing. My mom, so I, I also came into an inheritance this year. Um, my late uncle passed, and mm -hmm. I was in his will. So we got nineteen thousand from that. I obviously tied the tides off of that, and mm -hmm. then. But my mum's been giving me money, uh, two times, like five thousand uh, dollars every couple months to go towards our down payment. But she said specifically she wanted that for that. Do I just leave that there until we're at a place to use that? Or? Yeah, that's fine. Just throw, set it over okay. in a separate savings account and just pretend like it's not there, because she's. You know, she stipulated how that gift to be used, so we have to honor yeah. that. Um, not what I normally would do. Don't care for that idea, but it's okay. You're there. Now, so okay. so you have 19000 and I'm going to tell you that when you really start leaning in on your budget, and you and your wife are working on it really, really tight, and you get yeah. you get more intense and more focused, you're going to do more than $1,000. let us okay. pretend, for example purposes, for five months between now and March, you did 2000 mm -hmm. Well, that would be $10,000. You already yeah. have nineteen, so that would put you at twenty nine thousand dollars in savings when baby comes. I actually have twenty six currently in the in the housing one. No, I'm not talking about the housing. The housing's separate. Yeah. Wait, is the inheritance for the house? No, the inheritance I put into the housing one. No. Um, no, your inheritance so is getting ready to pay your car off after baby comes. Okay. So, okay. At yeah. the moment, it's all in the same one, but I, I yeah, I, I would have only your mom's money in the house yeah. fund. Gotcha. Because that's the money that she has dictated the gift. What the gift is for Correct. the inheritance yeah, yeah. money is yours to do with yep. as you please. Yeah. And so okay. what we're going to have is we're going to have your inheritance money 
house money separate from mom, your inheritance money plus whatever you can save between now and baby. So you're going to have twenty five to thirty thousand dollars in that account when the baby comes. That's going to feel pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot Absolutely. of comfort with a new baby, a new job in a new land called California, and a new marriage and all this stuff. So there's a lot of money here to give you comfort for a short period of time anyway. Now, yeah. baby comes home, mama comes home, we write a check and pay off the car. That's okay. going to leave you somewhere in the neighborhood of $10,000. Yes, sir. For your baby step three emergency fund. Yeah. And so then you can start to save, in addition to that, towards your home if you want to. We call that baby step 3B. And that's how we would execute the baby step plans in your situation. So, But Rachel's exactly right. <coughs> Excuse me. What we've got to do is you push pause on your baby steps. You do not do the baby steps when the baby's on the way. Or when you've got some other thing that's on the horizon that's a big deal, like you know you're going to lose your job in two months. They've yeah. announced it. Yep. You know, you push pause and you pile up cash to get ready for that. Then when you get the other side of the situation, like baby comes or you get the new job or whatever, then you clean out the account all the way down to a thousand. In your case, you're not going to need to clean it all the way out because you're going to have more and you're probably going to have almost have your baby step three completed. It's very cool. You're in a really good position. Yeah. And I think some people who are new to the program, because I know, like he said, I feel like during quarantine, a lot of people just binge watch YouTube and stuff. But even though the money is in the account, even just from the inheritance and he has enough money to pay off the car today, you still press pause because of right. the big life event. So right. even though it's there, still press pause. It'll be fine. Stay current on the car. And then again, in a few months in March, they can pay it off. Yeah. And just, just because the last thing you want to do is have $8,000 in your account and baby comes and you have a $9,000 issue. Yeah. And then you got to worry about money and baby. That's right. That's right. Or money and mommy. And so we don't, we just don't need that. This is supposed to be a blessed time, an exciting time, a fun time. And when you take money stress off the table, it allows that to occur that way. The joy can flow. Not worrying about anything else. <laughs> so fun. First babies are so fun.